Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mike Chua, physical therapist, and yes, I am your alternative healthcare career coach. Tonight, we're going to be talking about how to start your own group exercise business. Hello Note is a truly therapist-friendly practice management solution with integrated EMR that will enhance workflow, efficiency, and patient care. Hello Note reduces error and allows you to spend more time with your patients. It comes integrated with billing. Claims are generated once a note is completed. You can bill with one click and a patient portal, which streamlines the patient intake process. Beautifully engineered and cloud-based for easy accessibility, the software works on all platforms. You can access patient records from anywhere. We also offer 24-7 support. HelloNote is the practice management solution that you're looking for. Hello, 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 my Facebook friends. What is going on, my Facebook friends, YouTube friends, or whatever you call that? Well, tonight we are going to talk about how to start your group exercise business. Well, first of all, please congratulate us. You know, we've actually reached... A thousand subscribers in YouTube, right? That's a milestone for me. And of course, for Emma and for the rest of our group, you know, because uh, that's really an achievement for YouTube. And of course, in our group, our group is still growing. You know, we got, I think, 28, almost 29,000 members in our Facebook group. So hello, 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 my Facebook friends and YouTube friends. Well, today, uh, before I keep on going and before I go crazy, I just wanted to encourage you today. So today, good news. It says here, I have this uh, app. You got to download it. It's called the Good News app, right? The Good News app. You know, we got all the bad news and then the good news. You know, you don't want to read. You want to read both sides, right? Especially when you're watching the news. You want to obviously go to church and, and watch the good news and then obviously watch CNN or whatever, CBS, ABS, CBN. You know, you, you have to balance it out, right? So today in the good news website, it says today, good news in history, March 16, 95 years ago, Dr. Robert Godard, I know I don't know how you pronounce it, launched the world's first liquid-fueled rocket after building it himself. But guess what? When he started this, when he built it, people were like not believing in him because they, it wasn't developed yet. So they were like, are you crazy? Wanting to create a rocket fuel or something like that? And just like Thomas Edison said, you know, uh, let me show you what Thomas Edison said here. I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways not that don't work. This Thomas Edison who is Thomas Edison? If you know Thomas Edison, type in, you know, uh, Thomas. But uh, that's the key there, ladies and gentlemen. You will fail. You will be refused. You will be denied. You will be rejected. Well, guess what? You will be fired. I got fired. Somebody posted in our group that got fired. Well, guess what? You can be fired again and again and again and again for 10,000 times. But it's not a failure, ladies and gentlemen. It is not a failure. Failure is just an event. It's not a person. It's not you. It's just a process. Well, guess what? In the middle of the crisis, that's a crisis, lies an opportunity. There is always an opportunity out there that is going on. It's going to be a big challenge. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be a big challenge. But guess what? The bigger the challenge the bigger the victory. You know, you will encounter some step back, ladies and gentlemen, some setback, but those setback are actually created for your next success, for your next promotion, you know, for your, you know, you'll encounter some stumbling block, but those stumbling block, those failures, those rejection, those you getting fired, getting laid off are made for stepping stone for your next success. All right. Okay, well, why did we go there? You know, our goal is to interview Patrice, but, you know, uh, let's go ahead and uh, introduce our guest for tonight. You know, she's going to teach us how to start your own group exercise uh, uh, business. And it's amazing because without her guidance, without uh, her, her, her teaching me or whatever you call that, she teaching me, her, I don't know, uh, you know, without her, 
I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. When I got fired a year ago or two years ago, is it two years ago? 2019, when I got fired, I called her. Hey, Patrice, how can I do this? You know who I called when I got fired? I called positive people. I called those talk, I called the toxic positivity people. I called them. And you know what they told me, Michael? This is amazing. You can do whatever you want to do now. I'm like, are you serious? I just got fired. I'm depressed and everything. Well, you know what? The reason why I'm wearing this right now, this shirt, when I got fired, this is something really good. When I got fired, my good friend, you know, um, uh, <laughs> the official meme guy, Andrew Tran, sent me this shirt. Michael, you may, got, you, may, you may have been fired. This was December. I remember this because he sent this to me. I remember he said, Michael, you may, you may have been fired, but you are still the best physical therapist I know. I may not be the best, you know, but he said I'm the best. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not the truth. I am not the best, but he sent this to me and I felt better. When you get fired, ladies and gentlemen, when you have disappointments, when you have failures, when you have any kind of situation, you got to specifically choose the people that you listen to. All right. I started going back to church. <laughs> That's true. I started going, I started praying again. I'm like, gosh, Lord, I got fired. You know, uh, you know, I started calling God and you got to specifically choose the people that you listen to when you're down, when you're down. I know when you're down, there's no way but up, but when you're down, the people that you look up to, the positive people, when they're up, they're going to try to pull you up. They're going to try to pull you up. You know, people who I call David Bailiff, Greg Todd, Bert Devera, Andrew Tran. You know what? I called Patrice Hassan too. Well, guess what? If you listen to those people who's going to pull you down, you're trying to go up and they're still going to pull you down. What do you call that? What do you call that? It's called crab mentality. So you got to make sure you listen to the people that will pull you up to your next level. So speaking of pulling you up, all right, speaking of pulling you up, I don't want to be too serious. I don't want to be too serious, but uh, I'm so passionate about this. I know. So speaking of uh, uh, pulling you up, our guest for tonight is Dr. Patrice Hassan. She has, you know, she's a physical therapist, obviously, has a master's degree in, uh, how do you say this, gerontology? Is that how you pronounce it? She's nodding. So a uh, master's degree in gerontology. You know, she is a certified geriatric specialist, GCS. GCS, you know, I don't have a GCS, right? And she is also, obviously, the CEO of Group Hab and Therahab Fitness. So without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in Dr. Patrice Hassan. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I just love your positive message. You are so awesome. It's wonderful. I just have to look at things. Well, don't, don't. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Patrice, I'm sorry. I have to turn that music off. What did you say? Okay. Oh, no. I said, I love your positive message. You're so awesome with that. That is the best way to be. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, uh, we're all in this together. Yeah. Uh, we're all in this to help out other people. Or It's not just for me. Our goal is to inspire, empower, encourage not only ourselves, not only within the realm of our family, but the goal is to also empower, encourage, and equip our community and also our profession. So, uh, so thank you too for stepping up, Patrice. I really appreciate you for you know sharing your knowledge because a lot of a lot of CEOs, a lot of clinic owners, when you ask them, they don't share the information that you have. So, uh, thank you for going out to here, you know, and joining our group, you know, and just being awesome, coach. So, could you please tell us who you are? What do you do and uh, how can you help us start our group exercise uh, business? Sure. Um, so I started um, Group Hab Physical Therapy uh, really six years ago. I actually can't hardly believe it. But I started with the idea that I wanted to offer more for our patients because I, that short term model of physical therapy that we have where we see them short term, they get them better. We send them with a home exercise program, which they don't keep up with and they end up needing to come back for more therapy. So I just felt like the way that we are doing things now was not working. 
And so I have a background in group exercise. I personally love group exercise and I've taught group exercise for years. And so I started my just myself only um, in a 1200 square foot facility. And I opened up Group Hub offering um, small group exercise classes for individuals managing chronic conditions, specialized um, populations. And um, when I started, I kind of had in mind, like I guess they say, like begin with the end in mind. I was feeling that this needed to be not only like in Simpsonville, South Carolina, but I really honestly felt like we needed to change the way we practice physical therapy to include different types of models. So not just that our traditional medical model where you see them short term, but maybe perhaps an integrated model where you might be seeing patients short term, but then also having following patients that are more frail, um, <clears throat> have complex medical needs, where continue to follow them with small group exercise classes that keep you fit and well. So I opened the group hub and I began um, right from the beginning thinking that I wanted to try to maybe make a program that others could repl replicate. So um, all along, I tried different classes, tried different things. And just like Mike said, so I mean, some things work, some things don't, but you always learn from it and you make it better. So um, I developed a program, which we ended up calling Therhab Fitness. And the first facility I was in was 1200 square feet. Like I said, I was doing when I opened, I was doing everything. I mean, I was cleaning the bathroom. I was answering the phone. I was marketing. I was teaching the classes and um, it quickly picked up. And the American Physical Therapy Association, even they do, I guess they do Google searches and they somehow came across my website and they picked it up as well. I wrote um, a few articles for the PT in Motion magazine about this unique model. And after three years, we moved into a really big um, 3,800 square um, foot facility. And 2019, we were um, awarded by the South Carolina Physical Therapy Association as clinic of the year for, or facility of the year for South Carolina. So, um, so what we have now is we have our clinic. So I have group hub where we have individual therapy and we offer all of our group classes. And then I offer a program, Therhub Fitness, that we have other providers throughout the country that can provide our program that we've already researched. It's all evidence-based. We've It's tried and proven because we've spent the last six years <laughs> teaching these classes. Um, so we have a training and you can teach our program and become a Therhub Fitness provider. Oh, wow. That is such an amazing story there, Patrice. Uh, before I keep on going, uh, somebody said that is this is so cool. Thank you very much, whoever you are, Facebook user. You are such a Facebook user, whoever you are. But uh, I would like to highlight what Patrice mentioned. She said she started by herself. Mm -hmm. You have to start somewhere else, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to be big. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm, I started by myself. Yeah. I'm still doing everything on my own. You know what I mean? I, you got to you got to start somewhere else. You got to mm -hmm. take that first step, ladies and gentlemen. You have to have a skin in the game. You know, mm -hmm. I got skinned yesterday. You know, I turn around in in this fancy chair that I have. You know, I got this gaming chair, got this massage thing going on. But when I turned around, I hit my hand in between, you know, that oh, that wow. middle finger there. Oh gosh. And it skinned it. You know what? When it's skin, I started. I started waking up. Um, I was so sleepy. I turned around and I skinned it, and I woke up. I'm like, you know, there's a reason why there's this this new terminology for millennials. Woke. You woke up something. And when I got skinned, I got woke up, and I'm more aware. I'm like, gosh, I need to be more aware of this. And same thing, ladies and gentlemen. You have to have skin in the game when you're wanting to start your own group exercise. And it doesn't have to be big like what Patrice is doing. I started it with a small uh, group exercise too uh, inside the retirement home. And now we're branching out to a, a bigger place. And guess what? When I say bigger, it's actually small, but it's big to me. Patrice's, area, Patrice's uh, uh, clinic is like 3,800. She started with a small uh, area too. And all you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is just start one thing at a time. You don't have to have it all. You don't have to have fancy equipment. So we're going to bring Patrice back. Uh, mm -hmm. Patrice, so when you started, uh, what are the equipments that I need to get? Do I need to have those fancy weight machine, those big balls? Do I need to be physically fit like me? <laughs> no, like you. <laughs> I'm not physically fit. So 
I mean, what are the qualifications? Yeah, you um, you, know, you don't need a lot of equipment because it's small group classes. So, um, I, and I started with the minimum and, you know, I love what you just said, Mike, you have to start somewhere and you have to take a risk and you just have to believe in yourself and you have to go for it. If you wait until you feel like 100% confident and comfortable, you'll never do it. You just have to say, you know what, I'm going to just go for it. And um, that's pretty much what we did. I actually really didn't know what I was getting into completely at all, but I figured it out along the way and made a lot of mistakes along the way, but, um, you know, figured it out. Um, we started small, just me, and I started with the minimum amount of equipment. As a matter of fact, we, when we started the business, I think it was about, we put about like $6,000 into it and that was it. And, you know, of course we never had to Put anything else into it we just kept reinvesting so um we began with um some ballet bars because we really needed some bars for them to hold on you know for our clients to hold on to while they're taking the classes um then some free weights you know a bunch of little um you know free weights a variety of different weights uh mats we um had mats um i bought some things some other small like you can buy a lot of small balance things like we bought um just some little balls from the dollar store, some little cones. Um, we you, um, bought some little cushions from um, that you would put like on an outdoor chair. And then we could do some balance work on top of an uneven surface, you know, in the class. Um, of course, some regular, very sturdy chairs that they could sit in so we could use those. Um, but otherwise, it's not like you need a treadmill or, you know, a big bunch of equipment. It's really kind of a minimal amount of cost to start a business amazing amazing i like what uh, patrice said ladies and gentlemen uh minimal you, you want to start it in a low cost ladies and gentlemen so uh you don't want to you, you don't need those big fancy treadmills or new step or anything like that you just have to be creative with it imagine you're seeing a patient at home you don't have all the weights and everything you're just being creative the goal here is being creative and at the same time being productive. So uh, speaking of productivity, Patrice, I know we don't want to hear that word. Uh, I'm just assuming, Patrice, you are very, very productive. So could you please tell us how you, how you make money? Do you charge people cash? Do you use insurance? Do you use your face value? <laughs> you know, what, what, uh, what, uh, what, what do you do with with regards to productivity and, and profit and stuff like that. Sure. Um, this it's uh, this type of model, this offering the um, group fitness classes, um, you know, after after therapy or even keeping people from needing therapy in the first place is a really good business model. Because when I first opened, I really just had the idea that I was going to only offer the group classes. But what I quickly realized is that when the clients were coming in for group therapy, they actually needed individual therapy first before they were even ready for the group classes. For example, I put an ad out in the newspaper saying like, you know, do you have trouble with your balance? Would you know, want to keep up with your grandchildren? Try our physical therapist, there's my cat, physical therapist, um, you know, designed and um, led group exercise classes. And Does so the cat also joined the, oh, the group oh, yeah. exercises? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, um, yeah so I'm trying to snuggle up, snuggle up over here. Um, anyway, so when well, at least you don't have that, what you call this, that, uh, that cat, cat yeah. filter. Yeah, no, I'm not a cat. I'm a lawyer. Oh yeah. Right. No, no, no. Um, so anyway, so when clients would come in for the group classes, they would typically need individual therapy first. That's why they're asked, answering the ad or coming to, you know, see about the classes in the first place is because they have concerns about their mobility. And so um, I quickly found out that I needed to do individual therapy in addition to the group because I was losing business. I was Look at that cat's to tail there. <laughs> I was <laughs> continuing to refer out. I'm here trying like to stay focused and really <laughs> keep talking about this. Um, yeah. So so basically, it's a huge, it's a great business model because the um, the group classes will will actually provide individual patients, um, both like when they first come in initially and then after they've been coming to class, if they end up needing some physical therapy, like, you know, if they hurt their knee or their shoulder, which things like that happen, um, they'll use you for their physical therapy practice. And then when we have individual patients referred to us on discharge, over 60% of our patients would actually join our group classes. So the two things go hand in hand and they support one another. And so if you're going to open a practice, this is the best method 
I believe, to do it. You have to have something to set you apart. Also in um, the current medical environment right now, I, you know, I know where we are and what I've heard from other therapists is that um, the hospital systems, they kind of keep all of the referrals within the hospital system. So if you're a private clinician wanting to start your own practice, it's very difficult to get referrals. This actually allows you to get lots of referrals because of the unique group program that you offer. And so we um, do two things, Mike. We um, bill, we have individual patients where we bill insurance, just like any other practice. So that would be, you know, your uh, just kind of one on one individual treatment. And then we offer the cash based um, kind of a separate, I kind of look at it like two separate revenue streams, two separate things. Then we have the cash based component, which are the group classes, which is a monthly membership. And um, our clients pay $100 a month to come to our classes. Now, one thing that I will tell you, the only good thing that I can think of that came out of COVID actually was the fact that because of COVID, we had to get innovative. And so we immediately switched our program to Zoom. And so we do all our, our whole program on Zoom. So now when someone comes in and they want to try our, you know, sign up for our program, they can either come to our clinic and take classes or they can join us on Zoom. And so that's kind of a nice thing. We've been able to reach more people with that. Amazing. Amazing. Not just your program, but also the cat. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't know if you're watching and listening, ladies and gentlemen. If you are still watching live, please comment live. Watching on a replay, please comment replay, both on Facebook and YouTube. But I like what Patrice said. I'm writing things down. You got to write things down, ladies and gentlemen. If you are not writing things down, it's not be, it's not going to become a reality. Yeah. You know, because when you when you hear it, you forget. When you see it, you remember. But when you're actually writing it down... It becomes a reality. Even the Bible itself, ladies and gentlemen, God spoke in us, spoken the word, right? People have heard it, you know, those whoever, the the <laughs> disciples, I don't know, you know, the people in the Bible heard it, right? The, the the Lord said it, people heard it, and it doesn't become a reality until they wrote it down and become the actual living word. That's why it's called the living word. Same thing, whatever you're planning. If you are planning to look for a job, if you're looking for an alternative career, if you want to start your own group exercise program, you have to write things down. So I'm writing things down, right? So why did that go? Where, why, did, why did it go there? Well, I like what Patrice said. On the very first time, she said she didn't know what she was doing, but she know what her why is. You got to learn why are you doing this? Because the how will follow. If you know your why, the how will follow. She made mistakes along the way. It's not going to be perfect. Do you think per she's perfect? I mean, she looks perfect. You know, she's really physically fit, just like me. You know, you know, physically fit. No, I'm not. But you will figure it out along the way. Same thing with me. When I started my therapy career here in the states, I didn't even know how to push a wheelchair. I don't even. I didn't even know how to lock a wheelchair. But did I say, I don't know what I'm doing? No, you will figure out along the way. Same thing with driving. You have your debt, you're, you're driving from, for example, I'm driving from here to where are you at, Patrice, North Carolina? Pensacola, South Carolina. South, South Carolina. Carolina. Imagine I'm driving from here in Tennessee to South Carolina. I know my why. My why is to visit Patrice and learn about group hab and their hab. But along the way, do I know? My, the, the challenges I will encounter along the way? No, I will have to gas up. I will probably eat drive through at McDonald's. No, you know, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's going to be, there are going to be potholes along the way. I know my why, but the how will follow. You just have to focus on that goal, ladies and gentlemen, and everything will follow. And I like what she said here. It, it, they had to be innovative. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Mm -hmm. You have to be in, innovative. <laughs> Because she had to adapt and adjust. Just like riding a boat again, sailing from here to another island. That's how it is in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. You cannot control the waves in life. You cannot control the winds. You can control the, you know, the, the waves and whatever. But you can learn how to adapt and adjust your sails along the way. Mm -hmm. Adapt and adjust, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you will reach your destination. Uh, Patrice, uh, I'm bringing up Patrice again. Uh, there's a question here from another Facebook user, uh, whoever you are. She said, uh, or he or she said, she's he's live. Uh, but this person said here, 
Facebook user again. Thank you very much, Facebook user. You're not showing up. I'm really sorry. Uh, what, say she's asking, or he or she's asking, what is your fitness background? Do you have some additional certifications? And they're just curious. And we're going to go into this question. So, Patrice, you want to go ahead and answer this question? Sure. sure. Um, my fitness background, well, gosh, I'm pretty old. And I have been teaching um, group exercise since I was in college. So I kind of started almost like back in the Jane Fonda day, I guess, um, <laughs> practically. So I, um, while I was going to college, I taught like at the Club Nautilus and I taught um, lots of different places in that, that particular time. And I didn't have a certification even teaching that point. I, had, I would, would just was really pretty fit and went to a lot of classes and kind of taught myself and then had the experience. And then I went on to get um, the AFA certification. So I had that. And then I let I taught with that, kept that current for a while. And then, you know, of course, I'm practicing as a physical therapist while I'm kind of teaching on the side. It's my fun hobby that I do. And then I just let that certification go. And then um, I was still I still had some places where I was teaching. I was teaching at a Y and I was actually certified through the Y, too, actually. So I had their certification. Um, and that's all the certification I have. And then, of course, I have a doctorate degree in physical therapy and um, all the a different experience that I have. And I've taught all kinds of classes. Gosh, I've taught, you know, water aerobics, lots of different senior aerobics. I've taught cardio kick um, classes, step step classes, um, you know, dance aerobics. So, I mean, any type of um, like a like a body pump kind of class. So I just had a lot of experience teaching a lot of different classes and really loved it. I always really loved it. And gosh, I was always thinking when I was teaching, especially the senior classes that I was teaching, I actually felt like I was using a lot of my knowledge from as a physical therapist within my class. And I always just thought to myself, like, why are physical therapists not doing more like in a group setting to try to use our skills and our knowledge and our expertise in a group setting? Because it's so needed. And especially for your patients with complex medical needs, that's where it's really needed. And if you think of it, it just makes sense. Like we know how hard it is to work with one patient that has complex medical needs. So now let's put like five or eight in one class. And we think we're going to just give that to the community to handle. Or do we think that maybe physical therapy knowledge and expertise should be used to try to offer something skilled? Um, so so basically to answer your question about certifications i had certification a long time ago but since then i don't i have now i have their have fitness certification my certification and our, our program has been researched i just um the, over the past year we published some research with anderson university um i was the co-author and martha hyman was the author of um, some research that was um published in the journal of geriatric medicine so we have our our program is evidence not only evidence based in terms of the program makeup of the program, like the content of the program, how the exercises are designed, how the whole program is designed, um, but also we have research um, supporting it as well. Oh wow! Oh wow! Well, I'm just going to go back. Uh, thank you very much for explaining that, Patrice. But I, I'm looking at our Facebook group. I, this this is Yolanda. Thank you very much, Yolanda, for watching live and. Yeah. Uh, Emily, Emily Lauren, thank you very much for watching. She said you are inspiring me a lot. Thank you very much, uh, Lauren. Uh, you are inspiring her. Patrice, thank you very much. Wow. So uh, going back to that question, I just wanted to highlight what Patrice said, ladies and gentlemen. She has all the certification and everything behind her name, right? But it will not do her good if you don't take action. Mm -hmm. You just have to put yourself out there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I'm going to show you my certifications here, and it's not even enough. I got more there. PT, DPT, CDP, blah, 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 A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? <laughs> but I got all the certification, obviously, for me to be here legally in the States, because I'm not a citizen, right? But I had to get those, but I never implemented this until like two years ago. Get one, get obviously Therhab Fitness certification, all right? Get that certification, therhabfitness.com. Get that certification from Patrice. And you implement it. It's just like uh, just like a tools in your toolbox. You can buy the fanciest tools in the world, but if you don't use it, it's not going to do you good. I mean, if you go to my garage, you know they're like, I mean, not I don't have a fancy garage area in in our garage, but you will see a lot of you know patients. They have all this fancy stuff in their garage, right? You know, like a two thousand, three thousand tool 
But you know what they normally use is this very simple screwdriver. Mm -hmm. You know, find something that you will always use and you take it and run with it. So what I want you to do, my challenge for you today, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to get a certification, obviously get my certification class, but you know, we're talking about exercise, all right? What we're talking about is a group exercise. If you want to start your group exercise, take the Fair Have Fitness certification from Patrice. Uh, in that way, uh, you know, you can learn. There are other certifications out there, to be honest. You know, we have partnership with NSAM, uh, you know, different fitness personal training, but those are generic personal training for people who are general, whatever, personal training. This one is specific for our uh, a practice, which is physical or occupational therapy. And we're, before I keep on going, uh, uh, we're going to ask Patrice about that too. But uh, uh, it's nine o'clock. We have a quick uh, break, so we will be back in a few minutes, okay? Uh, don't go away. Hello Note is a truly therapist-friendly practice management solution with integrated EMR that will enhance workflow, efficiency, and patient care. Hello Note reduces error and allows you to spend more time with your patients. It comes integrated with billing. Claims are generated once a note is completed. You can bill with one click and a patient portal, which streamlines the patient intake process. Beautifully engineered and cloud-based for easy accessibility, the software works on all platforms. You can access patient records from anywhere. We also offer 24-7 support. Hello Note is the practice management solution that you're looking for. Yes, that is Hello Note. Check it out, hellonote.com. And we use Hello Note in our documentation system. <laughs> Documentation system, documentation system. We use Hello Note for, you know, we submit, you know, we do it. I Before I went live, I actually did an eval. It took me like 20 minutes roughly to do an eval for our outpatient stuff. So check it out, hellonote.com if you want to start your own uh, private practice. We're going to ask Patrice to what she uses in her in her practice later. All right. Check it out, hellonote.com. All right. Uh, just to be awesome, right? That is uh, Therhab Fitness. You got to check it out. That's what we've actually been talking about. You know, Therhab Fitness. Because of Patrice's program, we were able to start our, you know, group exercises. You need to have structure. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm already doing group exercises and everything, but I needed structure. I needed help. So if you need structure, if you need help, I mean, you can do it on your own. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Patrice, you know, I mean, but every now and then you need some guidance. You need some coaching. In order for you to be able to coach other people, you need to be coached yourself first. Just like great basketball players, ladies and gentlemen, you know, just like Michael Jordan. He's a great basketball player, but he wouldn't reach his full potential without being coached by whoever his coach is, Phil Jackson. You need to have a coach. So if you want to start your own Therahab Fitness, reach out to Patrice Hassan, you know, uh, because you need some guidance. You know, I cannot do this on my own. I wasn't able, I, I don't know how to start my own home health uh, contract business. So I had to get a coach, Bert Devera. You know, in order for me to start my group exercise, I'm already doing the group exercise. I needed to have a coach, and that is Patrice Hassan. So when I got her certification thing, or whatever you call that, Therhab Fitness thing, you know, doing some group, this is the result. Let me just share you what we did in our, uh, you know, of course, with the help of Patrice, right? <laughs>
You see what happened there? I got Patricia, Patricia, I got Patrice's coaching, and then bam, we had, you know, we had, we, we're going to do our own group exercise thing. You know, if you want to, if here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to follow someone, if you want to be someone, you got to follow that person, reach out to them, talk to them, get them coffee. You can't get something for free, right? You know, I mean, yes, you can get stuff for free in YouTube or whatever. This is, you know, we're streaming it in their YouTube. It's free. But if you really want to get the value, guess what? Get a coach, get that certification. There have fitness. All right. So before I keep on going, uh, I got one more stuff to show you, uh, this one here. If you want to be, you know, working remote, uh, what you call that, utilization reviewer, check it out. Our website, alternativehealthcarecareer.com. Uh, there's a utilization reviewer there uh, led by, uh, obviously, our, our, our admin, uh, Emma Shapiro. Thank you very much, Emma, for taking care, of, taking care of us, all of, you know, stuff that we do here. She is the lady behind the camera. All right. Well, uh, with, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring back our uh, guest for tonight, Dr. Patrice Hassan. She is the... GCS CEO of Group Hab and Therhab Fitness. You know, like what I said, without her, I would be able to start my own, uh, you know, Jerry Hab uh, therapy, physical and wellness, and whatever you call that group exercise. So let's go ahead and bring her back in. There you go, Patrice. Thank you very much, Patrice. So uh, there's a lot of people asking, uh, and one here asking, uh, 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 let me find it again. So what is the minimum in investment? How much is the, the, the certification? So are there any different levels of yeah. certification? Gosh, I mean, you can, this is perfect. If someone is just not even sure if this is really what they want to do, they just want to kind of do this as like a side gig. You really could actually even just start with a basic individual therapy fitness certification. So basically what that would be, would be a certification for one provider. That would be you. Um, and you would learn how to do um, a wide range of classes for older adults and specialized populations. You learn how to use music um, therapeutically, um, using the beats of the music to do some simple low impact dance that you can modify in different ways. Uh, you learn, um, you get our marketing strategies and marketing materials to help you. You have the Therhab network of other providers to collaborate with. Um, we help you kind of guide you with some different marketing ideas and things. And you could go and you could present yourself as um, just an individual provider. And you could do that in a senior center. You could do that in assisted living facility. You could try a really good idea would be if you don't have a clinic, if you approach a clinic. And this is a win win because basically you could say, look, I've got this certification in this evidence based program that's nationally recognized. Um, and I would like to offer classes. Could I perhaps rent a space here? So that would be very minimum investment. Perhaps they even already have some equipment that so you wouldn't even have to buy all the equipment. Not that there's you know that much equipment. You can do a lot with a very minimal amount of equipment. Just think about TheraBand. I mean, you could use TheraBand quite a bit and that's very inexpensive. So you could get the individual certification. And with that, you would have enough training and information to go out and just um, add a small little, like a side business where you could kind of dabble in it and see how you like it and grow from there. So if you didn't want to, you know, actually jump in and get like rent a place like I did, you could do it on a smaller scale and have a very minimal investment. Oh, wow. That is amazing. So I like the idea that you mentioned, you know, start, start small, and then mm -hmm. offer that services, ladies and gentlemen, in the facility. And that's what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for, you know, uh, there have fitness provider, certified fitness provider by Patricia San to actually teach the class inside their clinic. So, I mean, imagine the opportunity there. It's a win-win-win. Mm -hmm. Not just win-win. You know, that's what we want. The win-win-win. Win for you win for the clinic and win for the patients. Mm -hmm. And that's the ultimate goal there. The three wins, the WWW. 
of business, right? Not World Wide Web. It's the WWW of the business. The win-win-win situation. You're winning. The, the other person is winning. And the other contract is winning. That's how you want to work with businesses, ladies and gentlemen. Not one person losing. You know, that's called the, it's called the abundance mentality. A lot of people, they think about scarcity mindset. We're like, oh, you know, I'm losing patients because of this. I'm losing a referral because of this. No, there's so much opportunities out there. And uh, you just have to open up your mind, ladies and gentlemen. Just like your mind and your brain is just like a parachute. It doesn't work when it's not open. So when you jump, you got to make sure you open it up, you know, so you got to open it up. So, uh, Patrice, uh, I'm going to share the, the uh, your, your whatever you call this, your yeah. banner or streamer or whatever. Uh, do you mind sharing what you've been doing with yeah. Arth Arthritis Foundation? Yes, I will. Um, let me just add one thing first, because so, this is really, really important. Um, if you're going to market something, you have to have something that is different. Um, and I just want to emphasize that the reason why we've been successful is because why we what we offer with their health fitness is different than anything else that is out there right now, because it is a physical therapist designed and supervised program. So it's a supervised by a physical therapist or an occupational therapist. Um, so it's medically based, medically targeted. And so that is what sets us apart. And with that, we um throughout the entire certifications that we offer, we emphasize all of the reasons why we're different, all of the evidence-based um, research reasons why we're different. Because otherwise, why would someone want to come to see you when they could maybe go to that free exercise down at the senior center? So we have gone to great lengths to really identify how our program is different and unique than other exercise programs out there. So I just wanted to add that because you could just hire you could hire a, like a group exercise instructor who's certified with someone else and um, maybe offer classes, but that is not the same thing. This is actually has um, the physical therapy research supporting it. And then it's full of physical therapy, treatment concepts, principles, and ideas that you are going to actually use in the classes. So um, that's critical because otherwise I think it's hard. Like, why would they really, why would someone come to your program versus go to the why? Our program is unique and that's what we really emphasize. It's that medically based, that structured by, um, supervised by your physical therapist or occupational therapist. And when people come, they're looking for that added attention. They're, they're looking for that medical expertise that they're not going to get at other locations. So I just mm. wanted to do that really quick. That is so powerful. You know, I, I like what Patrice said. You have to learn how to differentiate yourself, ladies and gentlemen. You got to learn how to, you know, differentiate. That, by, the, by, the, by the word itself, you got to learn how to separate the pack. How do you improve your influence and impact in your specific niche? You got to learn how to separate. And that's what Patrice is saying. You know, why would they go to you? Mm -hmm. in your group exercises if they can go to another you know a y or less meal or whatever you know crossfit you know i'm i, I doubt they're going to go to crossfit you know what i mean mm -hmm. why would they go to you same mm -hmm. thing with therapy with personal you know physical therapy why would they go to dr mike chua because i know how to take care of dementia patients period mm -hmm. you know i know they i know how to you know, talk to patients. Well, obviously, I, I'm not going to say I know everything about that, but I understand it. I know how to treat them well when it comes to Alzheimer's and dementia. And same thing when you're starting your group exercise. How can you differentiate yourself? And this is the differentiating factor, Therhab Fitness, because you're going to be able to tell them, hey, it is supervised by therapist. You know, anybody can do it, and a personal trainer can do it, but and a, per, a, a physical therapist or a, a, an OT or an OTA or a, a PTA, well, guess what? When I'm doing the group exercises, you know, nothing against, you know, the, the I have students that comes in and I ask them to do some group exercises too. Shout out to USA students. Uh, but because they're still learning, they still don't know. They're still a student. It's different. But if it's me, because I've learned this stuff from Patrice, I'll be shouting at the patient, you know, I'll be like, hey, you know, I have the stick and everything. I have the, the TheraBand. I'll be like, hey, come on, squeeze that back. 
you know, shoulders back, head up high. You know, I'm like, okay, straighten that leg. I'm, I'm candid and everything and fun. And that's what we do. And that's how you differentiate yourself. I'm not saying I'm different from my students. I know some students are really good, but, but you know what I mean? That's the training that you will get from Patrice Hassan's program. So let's go ahead and bring back Patrice. Uh, Patrice, what are the other services that you uh, also uh, provide aside from, I mean, the, the, yeah, the, the, the Therhab Fitness. So. Oh, so what are, like what's within the Therhab Fitness? Mm -hmm. So you have the different programs that are within Therhab Fitness? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, we have um, two different kind of categories of certifications. We have the TheraHub Fitness certification, which are really our fitness and wellness classes. And so within those fitness and wellness classes, you have classes that contain aerobic strengthening, balance, and flexibility. So all four components of exercise that you need in order to stay fit and well. So you say like it's not enough just to walk, you need to actually get some balance the um, aerobics, the strengthening, and the flexibility, all for those components. So that really gives clients peace of mind when you say, like, if you come to our classes three times a week, you're really going to meet all of the recommended guidelines by all of the major medical associations that you would need to stay fit and well. Because otherwise, those natural guidelines sometimes can be a little bit confusing for patients, you know, like how many days a week do I need to do strengthening exercises and how do I go about doing that versus aerobic? So this, you don't even have to think about that. All you have to do is come with your tennis shoes on, ready to exercise three times a week with your friends here at Group Hab and you have all that you need. So we have the um, two categories. We have the fitness exercise, the um, Therahab Fitness, which is the wellness classes with aerobics and the um, strengthening balance flexibility, all those. Then we have specialty classes. So we have a core hab certification, which is a good you know, core strengthening um, for patients with chronic back pain or hip pain. Um, then we have joint hop, which is our arthritis program, um, or it's also just general strengthening too. So I mean, it's not just um, only for patients with arthritis. Um, then um, we have uh, the chi hop. So we have um, our, our Tai Chi and um, the yoga hop. So we have um, those things. So the joint, the chi hop, the yoga, and, um, and there you go. So, um, so that's what we have. So we have a good variety. And the reason why we need a good variety is to really offer a lot to our clients so that when they come and we're talking to them about the membership, we can show them our variety of classes that we offer. And there's a good variety there that is worth $100 a month versus just having one class. Not only that, once some of those evidence-based principles that we we share, you know, of course, there's no such thing as just a senior or there shouldn't be such a thing as a senior exercise class because there's such a wide range of functional levels. So our classes are individualized and tailored. So we talk about that, too. And all the research backs that up that you need to have individualized and tailored programs to really show the maximum benefit. You may hear my kids in the background. But um, yeah, so. Um, so, so that's that's our, our program. And I think um, Mike was going to show we have something really, really, really exciting going on right now with the Arthritis Foundation. They are perfect. Yeah, we um, actually this is a fantastic partnership that we have been able to work with the Arthritis Foundation to um, provide this uh, exercise series that's going to be streamed on their YouTube channel. It's our TheraHub Fitness Classes, and it is a throughout the month of May. There'll be three classes a week, and they'll be streaming them, and they're advertising them to different senior centers and such. And so this is one of the um, handouts that, or a brochure, I guess you would call it, for the um, the program that we're putting on, this Arthritis Foundation Partnership, where um, individuals can come and they can try our classes because so you can see like they're like the first week we have the joint half class so we're going to do a class like monday wednesday friday and so like monday is level one wednesday is level two and friday is level three so like i said there's different levels so it's more individualized and tailored um, then we have our core have a week of core have a week of yoga and then a week of our aerobics classes with the, the there have fitness the aerobic strengthening balance and flexibility that I was referring to and Mike if you'll scroll down just a little bit more um, one thing I really like about our program too is we have um, um, go keep on going what we did for this is we um, have something where they can actually kind of determine what level they're at so there's some basic questions that they ask that's how the senior centers would um, participate that little paper there but yeah so this is what they 
when they hand it out and they're trying to get um, individuals to try the Arthritis Foundation, their hub fitness um, exercise classes that we're providing, they can read and they can kind of figure out what category would they fit into. And then that way they know which class to go to. So um, it's really functionally based and individualized and tailored as much as you can on a YouTube video. Amazing. Let me take yeah. that oh, I'm back here. So, so you got this, uh, what do you call this? Uh, different uh -huh. levels. Yeah. Level one, this is good. Level two, level mm -hmm. three. Well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, if you are still watching, mm -hmm. when you see this, do you think they need to go with the group exercise? I guess, yeah. But, mm -hmm. well, you all, they also need some therapy here, right? And same thing here. You know, you're going to have to do a quick, you know, evaluation. And if they needed physical therapy, well, duh, you know, prefer a class with moderate difficulty, the going up curbs without blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? They they still need therapy there, right? To maybe work on the sit to stand. And this one here, level three, maybe work on your time get up and go or two minute walk test, whatever. Those are, you know, you can do therapy there, both uh, at home and also at, uh, obviously there at the, in the facility. So, well, anyway, thank you very much for explaining that, Patrice. So uh, um, there you go. All right. Uh, there's a question here, USA. Uh, actually, it's the University of St. Augustine. That's what I was talking about. So, all right, uh, Patrice, anything else? I mean, uh, where can we reach you? Uh, you know, where can we find you? And any last parting wisdom for our group? Um, I would say my parting wisdom would just be follow your passion. Um, don't don't um, hold back. Um, you're never going to feel 100% confident going into something. So if you have something that you're really passionate about, um, there's always you know always thinking like, well, maybe I'll do it th you know this time or that time. Um, I always say like, there's no time like the present, and um, just go for it. That's what I would say. And I would also say that if I can do it, anyone can do it because I did not have any business background whatsoever. And I made plenty of mistakes along the way and we still made it. So I would say if I can do it, you can definitely do it. Wow. And then uh, where can we uh, reach out? I mean, that's the website there. And then uh... um, you could reach me. Yeah. At just um, my email address, Patrice is on at group .com. All right. Well, again, uh, thank you very much, uh, Patrice. I like what Patrice said, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people, they get mad at me when I say, if I can do it, you can do it too. Well, guess what? If Patrice Hassan can do it and Mike Chua, an ordinary Filipino dude, can do it, you can do it too. You got the degree, ladies and gentlemen. You got the certification. You got the looks. I got the looks. Look at me. I got the looks. I don't even have the looks. I'm not even physically fit, and I'm doing it. I weigh 220 pounds. I need to lose weight. Is that stopping me? I cannot even. You know, some patients, they cannot even understand my accent. I'm like, oh, hello. How are you? Like, but does that stop me from doing it? No. And if Patrice Gassan can do it, you guys can do it too. And that's our special challenge for today. Patrice, again, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, check out her website, fairhavefitness.com. And if you know, go to the website and also check out her email or or talk, you know, reach out to her, Facebook or email or whatever. She's so easy to talk to, very easy. Uh, check it out, patriceasan at grouphab.com. And uh, check it out. All right, uh, Patrice, any any special encouragement or you're good? Um, no, just just like I said, I would say just go follow your passion. Yeah, there's no time like the present. Go for it. And actually, I'll say this. I, I just thought of something. I think this is a perfect opportunity to do the group exercise because people are getting vaccinated. People have been inside. People, we all need the group right now. We all need that group support. And so if you're wanting to get into it now, I think it's a perfect time. I think there's going to be a big boom for group exercise. Oh, wow. I love what you said there. Now is the perfect time, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? The best time to plant a tree was 10 years ago. You know what's the next best time to plant a tree? Is now. And same thing when you want to start your own group exercise business or whatever you want to call it. You know, the best time was like two, three, four, five years ago. Well, guess what? You know what's the next today? Now. 
because there is a crisis going on, but in the middle of crisis lies an opportunity. Again, thank you very much, Patrice, for joining us tonight. I appreciate you. But before I let you go, my Facebook friends, always remember the word fast. F-A-S-T. Yep, letter F. Oh, like that. Find friends that will push you to your next level because you are the average of the five people you hang out with. So who are you hang out with, right? Today, I hang out with you. I hang out with Patrice. I hang out with uh, whoever is there in Facebook friends. You know, specifically, be intentionally. Find friends that will push you to your next level because that's what I did when I got fired. That's what I did when I was, you know, down in the press. I had to find people that will help me, all right, and push me and believe in me, all right? You know what's the next letter in the word fast? It's letter A, YMCA, right? Letter A, take action. All this stuff that we're doing, it's not going to do me good. It's not even going to do Patrice's good if you don't take action. Take action by going to her website, therehavefitness.com. Is it .com, Patrice? So therehavefitness.com. Check it out. Take action. You know what? I just realized. Just like a movie actor or a director in TV, you can have your lights on. I got lights here. I'm going to show you some lights. Got some lights there, right? You can have your lights on. You can have the camera on. But if you don't take action, it's not going to do you good. The movie will not play. Remember lights, camera, action. Same thing with the movie, what you call life. L-I-F-E. It's not going to move. That movie is not going to happen if you didn't take action. You got a fancy light. You got a fancy camera. But it's not going to move for you if you don't take action. If you want to have a, a good movie like the Avengers or whatever, mm -hmm. Moana, you know, whatever movie, you know. Our last uh, two days ago, Sunday, over the weekend, we watched uh, Aquaman, right? That movie is not going to happen if that actor didn't take action. Same thing in your life. You got to take action, guys. Take action. You know what's the next letter on the word fast? It's letter S. Share and subscribe. The more shares, the better. Please subscribe in our YouTube channel or share this video or whatever. So share and subscribe. And then last but not the least is letter T is time out. No, time out. Letter T is teach it. Why? Because when you hear it, you forget. When you see it, you remember. But when you're actually teaching it, just like what Patrice is doing, you're actually understanding it more. So keep teaching it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Patrice, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, we will see you again, ladies and gentlemen. This Thursday, we have another episode on how to start your own, uh, what do you call that, financial business with uh, Winnie McDonald. Again, thank you very much, Patrice. Appreciate you. We'll, we'll see you again, my Facebook friend. Hello Note is a truly therapist-friendly practice management solution with integrated EMR that will enhance workflow, efficiency, and patient care. Hello Note reduces error and allows you to spend more time with your patients. It comes integrated with billing. Claims are generated once a note is completed. You can bill with one click and a patient portal, which streamlines the patient intake process. Beautifully engineered and cloud-based for easy accessibility, the software works on all platforms. You can access patient records from anywhere. We also offer 24-7 support. HelloNote is the practice management solution that you're looking for.